Teachable, Kajabi and EasyCourse are three popular platform choices when it comes to creating courses online. In this video, I'm going to put those three products side by side and give you a, a bit of a tour around some of the features that relate to online course creation. Now, it's not possible for me to go into all of the features of these platforms in this video. I do touch on them in other videos. But uh, I do want to give you a flavor of one particular aspect, which is course creation, the area that most people want to start with when it comes to selling their knowledge online. So let's get into it. I'm here on the Teachable platform here. I'm going to, first of all, give you an overview of each of the features on each of these platforms, just to give you a, a broader sense of the bigger picture of what's available. So on the Teachable platform here under product, I can see that I can sell online courses, coaching, digital downloads and communities. I can see as well that I can build memberships and I can see some features that are highlighted that help me to sell and market, to uh, take payment, to uh, generate reports and get analytics, that sort of stuff. And also there's a mention of a site builder that allows me to build uh, web pages and websites that support the sale of my courses. So that's teachable. Next up is Kajabi. On their features page here, I can see that again, I can create courses, communities, coaching and memberships. I can also add podcasts to the Kajabi platform. And there's some usual features around helping me to manage my payments, contacts and analytics. I can also build web pages and websites on the Kajabi platform too, as well as make use of email marketing features and create funnels as well. There's mention on the Kajabi uh, platform actually of branded mobile apps. Now, if we are creating courses online in this day and age, we need to be considering the world of mobile because absolutely that is where it's happening right now. And then finally, up on Easy Course, when I go into their features, I can see quite a lot on here in a lot of color. There's some common ground there. I can create courses. I can create membership sites, communities. I can also build my web pages on the Easy Course platform. But there's some advanced features that are really kind of singing out here as being a modern, forward thinking platform. There's gamification, video and audio libraries. I can uh, create digital and physical products. And, and quite a lot on there. There's mention as well on the Easy Course platform of a custom mobile app too. Now, as I say, I'm not going to dive into all of the features, but I do want to look at the course creation perspective of this little review between the three platforms, because that's ultimately where a lot of people are going to get started from and probably where I can offer the most help right now. So I'm on the uh, online course section of Teachable. I can see here it leads with a headline of designed for simplicity, optimized for earning, giving me a view that this is a, a simple to use platform. That's a really important point because this stuff takes time. So uh, making sure it's simple is good for me. I can see it boasts three simple steps of creating, uploading and personalizing, uh, making me feel the process on Teachable is uh, really kind of one, two, three, A, B, C. Uh, and as mentioned here, a powerful checkouts, flexibility, the integration with other apps and other platforms and that sort of thing too. I like how they put a course spotlight here that allows you to see examples of some courses that have been created. And of course, as you would expect on a sales page, some testimonies and frequently asked questions as well. Now let's dive across and have a look at the online uh, course section of the Kajabi website. So here we are, online courses. Your knowledge is worth more with online courses. I absolutely agree. Online courses are a fantastic way of monetizing your knowledge, selling your knowledge online. And this is the sort of language that the site talks to me at, uh, about more monetizing your knowledge. There's a suggestion here that uh, course people uh, on the courses can put your online course in their pocket, making reference to the online app. Uh, Kajabi compares himself here to uh, Circle, ClickFunnels and Thinkific. No mention of Easy Course here. Don't worry, guys. That's what this video is for. I'm doing a comparison. And uh, you can see some other information just here. And then uh, finally, let's have a look at the online course creation page for the Easy Course site. <coughs> Excuse me. Just reading this out here. You can create engaging courses in no time. Meet the best online, they all say that, don't they? Meet the best online course builder to build your dream courses. Easy Course offers 13 lesson types, six different pricing plans, 
uh, great scheduled lessons, advanced quizzes, assessments, certificates, gamifications features, and so much more. So even just in a paragraph, that sounds more exciting, doesn't it? Uh, scroll down a little bit more. What I love about the Easy Course site is how they go into a lot more colour and detail than the other platform providers. So here they've spelled out what those 13 lesson types are. They, they talked about um, how to drip schedule your course content so that you don't overwhelm people they've really gone to town mentions of gamification here certificates down here they've really gone to town on helping you to understand their platform right and that's what you need to do when you're looking at platforms you need to weigh up what the uh, best one out there is so you know full marks to easy course and less so for kajabi and teachable for not sharing half of the, uh, this detail and um, maybe it's because they haven't got the features to stack up who knows but if you're not going to spell it out on your website then uh, you know we can only assume that uh, they don't exist now i just want to look at pricing now i don't want you to think that it's acceptable to just look at pricing without comparing features you know do your research sign up for the trials of these platforms and um, actually there's a, a link to a free course in the description of this video that you might find useful in evaluating these platforms too but uh, all of them allow you to uh, kind of access their platforms on a trial basis and it's worth doing so so definitely assess the features do your due diligence don't just shop on price but i do want to bring price into this because it's quite relevant and but just bear in mind at this moment in time i'm not diving into all the features i'm just for now talking about course creation now on the teachable site you can see there's a free basic pro and pro plus plan the free is uh, as it says on the tin nothing at all um, the basic 39 pro 119 and the pro plus 119 but before you get excited by those prices what i want to do is give you a tip and say that when you're comparing prices always make sure that you compare them in the same um, kind of uh, payment plan way what i mean by that let me explain is very often on sites you get a discount for buying annually and that makes the comparative monthly rate cheaper but whilst it's nice to be able to subscribe annually sometimes we don't have the budgets to be able to do that so we need the uh, cash flow available to us so i always like to compare on the monthly pricing which is the worst case scenario so you can see here how that changes stuff the free plan is still free but now the entry level is 59 dollars uh, all the way up to 249 now let's have a look at the others in comparison to that so kajabi they have three plans here switch them to monthly their entry level plan is $149, so it's a lot more expensive. Fingers crossed you get a lot more for your money. Uh, who knows? I'll tell you in a second. Uh, $199 is the next plan up, and $399 is their pro plan. So quite a bit up from Teachable. And then finally, on Easy Course, let's have a look at the price in here. You can see there's four plans here. So there's no free plan on uh, Easy Course or Kajabi. But do note that you can sign up for free trials on both of those platforms. Um, Easy Course has a sale at the minute, so the prices shown are a little bit cheaper at the moment. But you can see the full prices are here in grey. So their entry level is $49, and then you've got $149, $399, and $699. But those are made a lot cheaper by the uh, current sales and promotions that they've got. So now let's have a look at the features of just online course creation and see how these stack up. Now, when it comes to Teachable, I'm going to review both their free and their basic plan. For the others, I'm just going to have a look at the, the basic getting started packages. Now, on a free plan, let's, let's be honest, uh, you don't get anything for nothing really, do you? So expect that in a free plan, you are going to have Teachable branding in there within your courses, within your web pages, that uh, encourages the visitors of your courses to go and sign up for Teachable. Now, you can kind of expect that, really, when uh, you are getting something for nothing. Um, and there's also a transaction fee that's on these free plans as well. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically where the platform operator keeps back a small percentage of what your course sold for as a fee and uh, you can see those on this free plan range from one to ten percent so this is kind of okay but you are limited to just one course on this free plan and uh, you're certainly going to outgrow that immediately um you know you're going to want to create a course and then you're going to want to create another course 
and uh, sometimes you know it's nice to create a free course as a preamble to a paid course so you know as soon as you do that you've already used two courses so you need to be upgrading with teachable which is why these free plans are okay they're great for kind of kicking the tires and having a look at the platform but i don't think it's something that you should expect to launch with um, I, I really wouldn't do that so if we look at the basic plan that starts at 59 dollars a month you can see even at that level you're still getting a five percent transaction fee that they're taking off of you uh, you are also limited to just five published courses as well so in that scenario i've just given you where you've got a free course and then a series of paid courses you you're quickly going to outgrow that i've seen it all the time and uh, that's when you're going to need to upgrade even further and start spending more money so don't get uh, kind of trapped into this uh, um, slightly snake oil type approach okay and then uh, we're next going to have a look at kajabi so kajabi we know is a lot more expensive from what we've seen before and um, you have zero percent transaction fees for 149 dollars a month i should think so because that's enough to be paying as it is but you are limited to just three products so that's only three courses you can have you're very quickly going to outgrow that yes you can pay another 50 dollars a month to go up to 15 products but again you know if you're serious about online course creation you're going to want more courses than that you know there's a guy i know he launched with nine courses he's now got 11 he's looking to develop another five or six and then he's got some that he wants to work with uh, uh, alongside other people so it's very easy to grow uh, outgrow should i say 15 courses and then let's have a look at easy course so their basic entry level is 35 dollars at the moment but you can see the full price of that is usually 49 dollars straight away right at the top you can see that you are not limited to the number of courses with easy course you can have as many as you like and you're also not limited to the number of active customers uh, i didn't point this out to you but back on kajabi you can see that our basic plan actually limits you to just a thousand active customers now the way to dive into the detail on any of these platforms is do to sign up to the trials and have a go at that and um, you can do that on the easy course platform on any of their levels on the teachable it's not really a, a trial that you sign up for it's a free account um, I think you've got access to that forever. It allows you to test the features out. But uh, like I say, it's uh, got some uh, heavy branding on there as well. And on the uh, Kajabi site as well, you can see there's a Get Started button to sign up for a trial. So they're available on all of them. And now also with the Easy Course platform as well, something I recommend you do is you take a look at their Facebook group. Now, uh, it looks like this. You can search for it on Facebook. It's called Easy Course Official Community. Do get yourself into that community because there you can interact with members of the Easy Course team, but also customers as well. Now, what I really like about Easy Course is they're very transparent and open. So you can join that Facebook group even if you're not a customer. And actually, many people join that Facebook group to ask and talk to other customers about the Easy Course product, something. Uh, easy course are entirely comfortable with and um, when i look at the other platforms however so if i go on to teachable just here in order to get into their creator community i have to click this join button here so i have to sign up which essentially what i'm doing is signing up to their free account so they're getting me into my uh, they're getting me into their funnel straight away by doing that um and then over on kajabi if i look at their creators community which you can get to from the home page um well I, actually you don't get very far at all you you get yourself into facebook here you ask to join the group and straight away you're asked to fill a question in and the question basically is for you to confirm the fact that you are an uh, kajabi customer already i'll just show you that in action actually join group here and then in order to get uh uh, access i have to give the email address that my kajabi account is with so you can't actually talk to these on their facebook group or any of their customers uh, without being a customer so um yeah i prefer easy courses approach a lot more with, with that sort of thing 
Uh, the other thing you can do with EasyCourse is because I am a certified expert of the EasyCourse platform, I have created a free guided tour. It's in the form of an online course that shows you all around the EasyCourse platform, lets you see all the different features and uh, just gives you my take on how you can kind of put it to, it's, uh, these features together to really build a serious online digital business for yourself. So hopefully you found that comparison between Easy Course, Kajabi and Teachable very useful. Let me know in the comments what you think. Follow me for more and I'll see you soon.